Here's the latest addition to my collection of mini drones. And it's a CX-10C camera drone, which the manufacturer claims is the smallest camera drone available on the market at the moment. It is sold under either the Chiasen brand name or, in my case, under San Yan Huang. Now, the price for this drone was a little over 20 euros, which means yeah, I did not have to pay taxes for it in Germany, so it passed right through the customs. The other thing that helped is that the box bears the CE mark, which of course stands for China Export. No, uh, it does. Uh, it means it meets all the European safety regulations and can be sold freely here. So let's have a look at the thing. Now the first thing of course is the camera lens, that's what we've all been waiting for. And it's a bit recessed, so if the kids touch it, they won't leave their paw marks on the lens right away. The other feature is the on-off switch and a slightly modified uh, charge connector. It's got a sort of an extra plastic thingy underneath. Of course there's got to be a micro SD slot. Rumors have it that some models are sold with SD cards. Mine wasn't, and that's not to be expected for the price. The USB cable is a bit different from what we've seen, and the uh, uh, remote control is more or less what we've seen before, except for the two buttons at the lower right, which are for stills and video recording. If you insert the uh, micro SD card, it's got a face contacts up. And I'll put a little charge in it so we can we can go for a test drive with it. The charge circuit is the charging circuit is very basic here really. Uh, you should really babysit this uh, charger because if the light goes out, the charging does not really stop and it will overcharge the battery pack and over time uh, destroy it. The remote control takes two AAA batteries and these things really seem to last forever. I never had to change battery packs in my older uh, batteries in my older drones, so that appears to not consume a whole lot of power. But that was to be expected because the flight time for these things is rather low. All right, so there should be enough juice in it. Coupling is as we used to have it. If you switch on both uh, components, give full throttle, pull back and full throttle again, uh, it'll, it'll take off. Okay, let's take it outside. Now, here we are at my lunch break and uh, in a little park nearby and I just fly a little round. Uh, the picture is rather crisp, probably a bit overly sharpened, but uh, with a 640 by 480 resolution, that is what you would expect. This is a different day, and, uh, slightly more sunny than we had it before. Uh, but uh, higher winds now. And as you see, I, I really have to, to struggle keeping my aim uh, because it's not a headless drone. Uh, some, uh, some retailers advertise it as a headless drone, but it really isn't, and I haven't seen any that really are. Uh, so you see me struggling with the, with the winds here, and of course the, uh, the camera will uh, will shift to the sides. I don't know if it can be stabilized uh, with video software. If you go for a proper drone like an Inspire 1 that I tried out with my buddies from work, that will behave totally different. So you see that, that gimbal arrangement down there holding the, the camera still, whatever. You can't really expect that from from our little Chearson drone. Um, but for the price of this thing, uh, we can afford 250 of the uh, of the mini drones. Okay, back to the to the mini drone. 
Um, it worked okay in in low light settings. So this is sort of the minimum that uh, that worked properly. Um, let's see if we can can get some brighter indoor lights. Oh, you should shouldn't really do that. But my my buddies from from sports club won't mind here. Well, that gives a pretty okay picture. So that's it. Bye for now.